Today I show you one of the sketchbooks where I stick in the art I personally like the most. So it's some kind of best of a Hall of Fame sketchbook. I'm Celine Honey and welcome to this video. First I wanna say this video was a wish by a subscriber. I was asked what I'm actually doing with all my art. So what am I doing? Art which is not really special for me, I'm just storing so I don't throw it away so far. For art I like very much, I bought other books which have a more beautiful looking cover and stick my art into them. That's also the reason why scanning my art at a later point of time becomes more complicated. Now we're gonna look into one of these books. On the first page we see the Legend of Zelda logo, which I did using colored pencils on black paper. I like it a lot because it looks very real, so it looks really like 3D writing. This is the first time I drew two characters interacting with each other. At this point of time I still did no pre-sketch, but directly drew everything using a permanent marker. This was the first time I used an additional color. This was also done without pre-sketch, so I'm pretty proud because the proportions look pretty well. This I stored because the proportions look pretty well and I think you can also feel the emotions when looking at it. I don't know why exactly, but this is a drawing I still like very much. This is a drawing where I practice speed lines, emotions and a fighting pose in the same drawing. This drawing I like a lot because it transfers the mood nearly perfectly. Another fighting pose with speed lines which I think turned out pretty well. This drawing is just awfully cute. Here you see a drawing in a complete different perspective. This drawing I like because the proportions are correct, the color is nice and the wooden structure came out pretty well. This is pretty the same, but it additionally looks extremely cute, doesn't it? Oh my god, this was so much work and I love the feeling it transfers. Another time two characters interacting with each other, but a bit easier because they do not overlap. Somehow also a little bit more difficult because they need to be arranged correctly to transport the feeling. I still love it. Every time I see this picture I need to laugh because it's so funny and cute. This is still one of my most favorite artworks. I don't know why, but it still catches me. This is the first time I experimented with different paper colors. And here we can see how I use toned paper. This is one of the first marker drawings I did and I'm still pretty proud of it. And another really cute marker drawing. This marker drawing I kept because it looks really really clean and it transfers the mood perfectly. This reminds me of the drawing with the Minish. I think they catch me so much because of the emotion and because the grey outline creates some kind of 3D effect. This is the first time I created some kind of background and I used metallic watercolors for it. This drawing I really love a lot. I think it was the first time I drew such detailed hair and I also used metallic pencils for it. I'm not sure about the background, but hey, I mean it's not blank. This 
this drawing I did because I love the outline style so much and I'm pretty proud of it because I just tried out something different. Haha, <laughs> this is a drawing of my first Inktober participation. I really like it. Here I love the outlines and also the emotion. That's also true for this one and I love this style of link the most. I think it's clear that I love the eyes and the emotion of this drawing the most. Here I also love the eyes a lot. Here I started trying out colored ink. As you can see, I also used it for drawing other characters than Link. I think on this drawing the line work is really good. <laughs> this drawing I just kept because it's really really funny. This is not really my personal favorite, but people on Instagram loved it a lot. So somehow this was a milestone for me, because I never got so much likes before for a drawing. Here I practiced drawing curls and they turned out really cool. I can't really explain why this drawing is catching me, but it does. On this drawing it's the first time I combined felt pens and color pencils for shading. Here I came out of my comfort zone and tried different colors. I know many people don't like it, but I love it so much I even have it on a t-shirt. This is a marker drawing I just like. I also wanted to draw things that are not Zelda related, so here we are. Haha, <laughs> this is an exercise of a book about the usage of watercolor pencils. It's not as cool as the reference in the book, but the mood is cool. With this drawing I practice what I learned and it still has something. I really like it. That's one of my first urban sketches, which I did when we were at the lake for swimming. For this drawing I did the sketch directly at the lake, but the coloring I needed to complete later at home. Here you see, I need to cut out some pages to be able to stick in my art, otherwise the book would not close anymore. I really enjoy the soft cover so much, it looks expensive and elegant and increases the value of my art. As you noticed, we are through my book. What do you think about it? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the tour, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye!